Hi there! Hope you're ready for another amusing episode of this show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Gabby has tons of catastic adventures in the many rooms of her dollhouse. Today, we're heading to the garden where Kitty Fairy is hosting a sleepover. Hope you're ready for a little garden magic! If this is your first time at a Kitty Fairy sleepover, you're in for a fairy-rific time! When it's PJ time at a Kitty Fairy sleepover, all you need to do is pick some from the tree. I've already built the rainbow tree in the garden of my dollhouse, so now it's time to craft some pajamas. There are all kinds of pajama patterns to choose from. Some pajamas are high on the tree and some hang off the vines. Now that we've got our pajamas, it's time for a fairy garden snack. At Kitty Fairy Sleepover, we drink fizzy fairy juice and snack on rainbow fairy popcorn. Rainbow Fairy Popcorn is always best when it's freshly popped. And what refreshing drink goes with Kitty Fairy Popcorn? Fizzy Fairy Juice! Straight from Fizzy Fairy Juice Falls! To drink Fizzy Fairy Juice, you need a very special cup. A flower cup. Now we are ready for a tea party! Fairy-tastic! The next activity at a Kitty Fairy Sleepover is Starry Story Time, which takes place at the Sleeping Spot. The Sleeping Spot has a large purple and pink rug with garden-tastic flowers on it. On top of the rug, everyone has their own sleeping bags. Candies has pickles and hot dogs. Pillow Cats has moons and stars. Gabby's has hearts. And Kitty Fairies has flowers. Now everyone is ready to koodle up for starry story time. There's one more fairy-tastic finishing touch this sleepover needs. Kitty Fairy Sleepover has been a meowsing! <sighs> I'm off to take a cat nap! Come back soon to see me build more things in Gabby's Dollhouse! Be sure to watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix!